The bottom line of a bank. Using profitability models is a very good way to manage your bottom line. But there are many obstacles for getting to that element of building profitability models. I'd like to name a few of those obstacles. One of the most heard obstacles is data quality and data availability and data integration. Uh, for building granular profitability models, you really need a lot of granular data and this data is dispersed. It's going to be in different systems everywhere, it, whether you have a HR system to have a little bit a view of what the headcount is for certain departments, whether it's your transactional data uh, where you have stored the actual products per customer or whether it's your general ledger where you have stored your cost information. There's always a lot of different systems that hold different type of data. And yes, it's a very important step to really map out what data is needed for your profitability model. And it comes back to really designing your model in such a way that you can accomplish your goal and you can map your data with your design and then start to build out a data model. And depending on what tool you use for your profitability model, you could either do it through a staging database where you first collect your data, but you could also try to uh, inject it directly using ETL purposes. But there are a lot of options of getting your profitability model data right. A second obstacle that we hear quite often is the regulatory compliance elements of it. Usually building out the profitability models is either for internal purposes, but sometimes also for regulatory purposes. And regulatory purposes, they have rules and regulations around how to build those models. And sometimes it's very difficult to comply with those rules, uh, whether it be on a, a regulator that is actually overseeing your profitability or whether it's just from GDPR perspectives. However, um, GDPR should not be that much of an issue if you just refrain from using personal data and your profitability models. That's not needed anyway to manage your business. You don't need that kind of information. Then a third uh, obstacle that is mentioned quite a lot is the complexity that gets into it. And that's definitely true. Modeling uh, your business out onto a way that you have a good oversight and a granular way of profitability is not going to be easy. It is complex, but you should take it step by step. Don't try to aim for a perfect model right away. If you're at 80%, you're already much further than you are today when you are just starting. So don't try to be perfect at the first time and use capable people to help you out with modeling. People that have done it before can help you out and there are tons of out there, whether they are in the form of tool suppliers like we are, but also in the form of consultants that have done it before. There are many of them. Uh, be advised and don't try to get out it alone. Um, another obstacle that you um, hear quite often, so make sure that in your design that you do in the first phases of building your complexity model, you make sure that it's always, everything you do is traceable, is explainable, that people really get the way that you've allocated your cost and you have created a cause and effects relationship so that people understand and that your model becomes transparent. That is an important item to look for to make sure that you do not get into that pitfall where nobody understands where actually this profitability came from. A fifth obstacle um, could be your expertise and talent. Yes, you need people that are data savvy, that are uh, pretty handy with software uh, because you do need tooling to get to these profitability models. So attracting and retaining talent for these kind of model building is difficult. It's definitely true, it's an obstacle. Uh, but if you can show them what kind of fun it will be to be able to look through the complete organization and really manage the profitability of that organization, um, then it's pretty cool to be data savvy and have a holistic view of the business uh, at the same time. So what I always like about these kind of functions that are both specialist, because you really have to be specialist in uh, modeling the data out, but they're all pretty general because you want to know everything about the business to really understand these uh, kind of numbers that you're crunching in these profitability models. So that's the one way uh, to look at it.
Model governance is also an obstacle. Once you've built your model, you want to make sure that it's updated rightfully so and that there's a strict procedure on changes and request for changes on that. That is something that you really have to take into account in documenting and getting procedures right. Definitely something to think about before you start within your goal setting how are you going to use it and who is going to make sure that the governance is being done correctly another obstacle is economic uncertainty uh, once you start building maybe interest rates are at a certain level and then when you're halfway interest rates are at a completely different we've seen that in the past few months really happening as well so that is definitely true so make sure that your model is relatively robust for these kind of changes. And what do I mean by that? Treat things that are outside as a parameter. External interest rate, if you treat it as a parameter, you could change it in a parameter and your model will, in structural sense, not change, but um, you will have completely different outcomes because the uh, parameters. So uh, that is a reality that's definitely out there, not something you can control um, anyway. The last obstacle that I'd like to mention, change management. People always find it difficult to change, me included. I hate even the small changes already, but that's just human nature. So you have to get through to the people that are actually not used to be managing on profitability and show them the value that it is. Keep communicating on why you're building these models. So yes, there are a lot of obstacles in building profitability models, but don't let these obstacles uh, hold you back. Obstacles are there to be over one, and only then you can get to a great bottom line for your bank.